Namaskaram Sadhguru. Uh, recently, the Sadhana Pada program was announced, which involves being in the ashram for six months. I have a few friends who are interested in this. Could you please elaborate a little more on what this involves? See, uh, many of your friends, whoever they are, they may not be ready for twenty-four hour sadhana for six months. So we will structure it according to individual needs, we will look at them and decide. Maybe first one month everybody will go through a common practice, but after that we will decide who should go through how much. Sadhana is not just sitting eyes closed and doing something. Sadhana is also learning to work. Sadhana is also learning to move among people with least amount of friction. It's very important. You may be meditating as much as you want, but if you're all thorns on the outside and move around, uh, the other people will make sure your meditation doesn't work after some time. <laughs> Don't underestimate those people <laughs> Yes, do not underestimate the people around you. If you walk around with thorns all the time, I'm meditator like this, ah, uh, they will make sure your meditation doesn't work after some time. So, sadhana is also about moving in the world with least amount of friction. I've said this many times. In the Far East Asian cultures, an enlightened being is always referred to as an enchi. Enchi means a circle. The wheels of your cars and every other vehicle is round in shape. Why? Because it's a shape which moves with least amount of resistance. A triangular wheel would definitely be far more jazzy. Hello? Just look at your car, how it would look. But least amount of resistance. So this is very important that when you walk about in the world, you move with least amount of resistance. Otherwise, outside situations will occupy you for the rest of your life. If you create little friction here, you will see this friction will keep you occupied for the rest of your life. It will not allow you to focus on anything else. So sadhana also means this, so they will volunteer in various aspects, they will serve in the schools, they will go and work with the rivers, they will do many things, but all of it used as a sadhana for your growth in six months' time. In your body, you must be stronger and younger. In your mind, you must be sharper and much more stable. In your emotions, you must be very lucid. In your energies, you must be intense and stable. We want to bring these kind of people to the world. These are not people who are going to come and live in the ashram forever, but we want to open the doors of ashram so that six months of being here, when they go back, they must go back as much more stable and clear and wise life. It's very important. Clarity and stability, these two things are vital to human life, that you see things clearly and you're stable. Stability is one thing or lack of stability is one thing which is costing humanity tremendously. So much intelligence, so much talent, so much genius is all down the drain simply because people don't have stability, no balance. Above all, balance is most important. When you have balance, you have freedom. You know you're riding your bicycle for the first time. You can't do a thing, but you're well balanced, your hands free, riding around, you can whistle and do all this on the bicycle, isn't it? Hello? Balance gives you freedom. That is so with your mental nature, with your uh, mind, with your body, with your energies, everything. If this is balanced, it gives you enormous freedom to do things, to do your life the way you want it. So we want to see that people who are working in large businesses, people who are in the government, people who are in important positions, take this six-month break and invest upon their own growth, clarity and balance. If these two things happen, 
we will have better human beings and a better world for sure. So this is what this sadhana pada is about and uh, some of them were asking me, but if I want to take a break from my corporation, will you give me a certificate? I'll give you a certificate, what's… what's the problem with a piece of paper, hmm? I never collected any of my certificates ever. But it didn't mean anything to me, but if it means something to your corporation, we will write a certificate for you, what is the problem? But the important thing is, have you brought little more clarity and balance into your life? This is important. How effective a life you will be is essentially determined by what is the level of clarity you have and how much balance you have. This will allow you the freedom to traverse this life as you wish. Otherwise, naturally you will lock yourself up in your box.